usually the requirements has minimum for each company or anonymous society to be open in Panama are simple. A, you're gonna need a resident agent who will be the one that has the control or receive the information of your account, accounts, your balance, your accountability books that he has to present every year to the authority. That's something that is necessary due to international law and regulations all over the world. Second, you need at least three board directors, members. One can be the president of the company, one can be the owner of the company, uh, the resident agent itself, but it, you need at least three board director members. Also one secretary and one treasurer. You can repeat the person, for example, you, you yourself can be owner, you can be a board of director, and you can be at the same time a treasury or president of the corporation, but you require yourself at least three board members. And one cannot repeat more than two positions. For example, you cannot be treasury, president, secretary, and board member at the same time, it will not. But usually what lawyers do and most of the clients do is that, okay, you can, where well, the owner of the company becomes the board of uh, board member, and the legal representative. The resident agent itself becomes also a board member. That's an actual, actually an option for every client you can set up. If you do not have three people who want to be board members or directors, the lawyer itself can get you someone or he can add himself, but that will cost extra to you. In matter of time, I will say professionally, be sure that everything will go smoothly uh, to understand it that bureaucracy in Panama uh, can sometimes make things go further than they should. I will really say that opening a corporation can take from one up to two months. And that will also depend if you only want to open it or you want to have it registered on a certain authority. If you pay your lawyer, for example, to register it on the municipality to pay taxes, or you want to have it in a license for whatever, it can take more. But usually one or two months, you will have your company set up and recognized by the authority and with your tax number. The lawyer that gives you the service will determine the costs, but on the basis of a professional service. For example, we lawyers have this uh, regulation by the National Lawyers College that determine what's the minimum price of the service. So that's uh, like, a like a line that we should not go down there unless there's a social motive or that is a personal matter related to a family member or someone in need of assistance. Uh, you can do it for free, but that's uh, you need to, uh, for example, address that is a social collaboration to a person. That's why the, what drives the price is like this minimum line, this bar, this rule, that we all should follow. I am a member myself of the National Lawyers League. I work for the uh, Arbitration and uh, Mediation Commission of the National Lawyers League or CNA. And I believe in that line because it's at a good price. What can drive the price to go uh, higher or lower, I will say that it will be what are the client needs. If he needs, for example, three board members, if he needs the resident agent, which you must have to, that's a must, you cannot avoid that. It's illegal not to have one. So, and, and I want to say that very clear, it's necessary. And he needs to be this custody, this guard of your personal information and tax bills. And that's something that is uh, necessary due to regulations all uh, that set up in the United States, by the GAFI lab, by international commission authorities all over the world. And it's the standard of Panama is concerned to follow to the line uh, due to the Panama Papers case. Uh, Panamanian corporation cost is determined by the needs of the client and the service that it will provide. And if I go, for example, saying uh, each company is worth to make a uh, 1,200 hour the line to my client, because it depends what is the company going to do, what service is going to provide. Uh, what does the lawyer have to address in order to set up the company and make it function? And if I go, for example, uh, it's not the same if you want to open a, cor a corporation for having, I don't know, guests or tourist purposes. 
uh, or if you want to open a company to import and export food from Panama or from outside Panama back to back to the country, or if you want to open a bank or uh, let's say uh, manage a, a pension fund, it, that that's the kind of stuff that really drives the price to go up to down. And that's something that the client needs to specify whenever he is talking to a lawyer, whether it's in an office, in a Zoom meeting right now, which is mostly necessary, right? is a must. Or if, if he goes to another place or a restaurant, you need to specify as a customer what I need or what I plan to do. Because some services require a license, some services require you to have, uh, let's say, an infrastructure, and that's what determines what you're going, what are you going to have to pay. It's not the same if you're a multinational company uh, looking forward to having a pharmacy. Uh, in this law or foreign companies here, it's called SEM that if just, I don't want to open a cafe, I want to serve coffee to nationals, I want to uh, bring coffee from Panama and other countries, I want people to sit up, use the internet, uh, consume food, whatever, stay in a lodge, whatever. It's different. That's what determines it goes. What kind of service are you going to provide? What are you going to need? And whenever you want to open, you need to you open a company, you need to be honest with your lawyer. You need to find a good lawyer first, but also you need to be honest with him because he needs to sometimes research.